Hampshire Gale third and Sipton Abbey four over the first. And they're all safely over it. Young Hustler from Yorkshire Gale and Riverside Boy. A little gap then to Sipton Abbey and then Unguided Missile on the inside. Geek Noy then couldn't be better. Unholy Alliance and Rock Quest just the back marker now. And two fallers there. Two have gone there. And Sipton Abbey is one of them and uh, Yorkshire Gale is the other. Yorkshire Gale and Sipton Abbey have gone there. And Young Hustler is the leader from Riverside Boy. On the inside, Unguided Missile. On the outside, Unholy Alliance then comes. And Young Hustler's gone there. Young Hustler has gone. And this field uh, already reduced to six now as they come to jump the water. And uh, there, Unholy Alliance from Riverside Boy on the inside. Then Unguided Missile and Couldn't Be Better. And then Geek Noy and Rough Quest. And these are the only ones left in the race now. Adrian McCoy is still on the floor, but the other two riders are up. And it's Unholy Alliance, who's gone on now from Riverside Boy, the old man, the 12-year-old, as they jump the fifth. Uh, riderless horses causing some worries here as they jump the sixth unholy alliance from uh, Riverside Boy and unguided missile second of the ditches now unholy alliance lands over it from Riverside Boy and uh, Geek Noy just in behind the lead Tony McCoy up on his feet and walking back now Unguided Missile jumped that fourth. Fifth was going to be better, and sixth is Rough Quest and Unholy Alliance and Jamie Osborne. This horse, who, according to his trainer, Kim Bailey's column in The Sporting Life, has uh, completed in the first four. Every time he's completed the course, he's been in the first four in 26 outings. Unholy Alliance jumped that well clear over the ninth from a Geek Noy and Riverside Boy, an unguided missile. Coming down now to the fence, it'll be the last next time, the 10th. And this unholy alliance preceding the two loose horses as he comes to it and jumps it well. Geek Noy jumps it second. Third, unguided missile, four, Riverside Boy, five and six are uh, couldn't be better. The uh, Hennessy Gold Cup winner and behind him, Rough Quest. With any luck, a young hustler, the riderless young hustler, going to run out here. And uh, he certainly runs wide, but unfortunately he hasn't uh, left the course. Neither of those two riderless horses have. Unholy Alliance is the clear leader with tender jump as they run out on the second circuit. With Geek Noise second and Unguided Missile third. Four is couldn't be better. Five is dropped back to fifth, Riverside Boy. And six is Rock Quest. But six and last of the six, but going well. Unholy Alliance jumped out with the riderless horses in close attendance. They're all safely over that one. Geek Noise, second and unguided missile, third and couldn't be better for five rough questions, six is Riverside Boy over the 12th there. Unholy Alliance from Geek Noy. Unguided Missile. Rough Quest moves into four, five couldn't be better. And six, Riverside Boy. Coming down to the third of the ditches now. Third of the four ditches. Number 13. Unholy Alliance. Geek Noy has gone there. Geek Noy a faller. And uh, couldn't be better has gone as well. And it looks as though uh, the old man is going to be pulled up, Riverside Boy. He's some way behind the remainder, coming down to the water. Unholy Alliance lands in the lead from Unguided Missile. Rough Quest is third. Riverside Boy has only just struggled over the water. There are only four left with riders on their feet now in this Better Wear Cup. And it's Unholy Alliance in the lead from Unguided Missile. A gap then to Rough Quest, who's still very much in the contest. Unholy Alliance, slightly hampered there by loose horses, just took his attention for a while as he comes to the next, jumps it in the lead from Unguided Missile, a mistake there, Rough Quest getting closer all the time. They've got five left to jump now in the Better Wear Cup, and it's Unholy Alliance from Unguided Missile, Rough Quest jumps it well in third, and is still getting closer all the time. 
the last ditch now, four out. Unguided Missile and Unholy Alliance together with Rough Quest still getting closer. Coming down now to the next. Three out, and it's Unholy Alliance from Unguided Missile, then Rough Quest. Rough Quest still improving behind these two leaders. So Unholy Alliance preceded by these two loose horses, being challenged again by Unguided Missile, who's going a little bit wide, but Rough Quest breeding down their necks as they come down towards the second last. Over on the far side, Unguided Missile, but here comes Rough Quest in the sheepskin noseband to move into second place towards the right of the picture. Unguided Missile from Rough Quest now as they race down towards the final fence in the Betterware Cup. Unguided Missile and Richard Dunwoody from Mick Fitzgerald on Rough Quest. These two come down to the last fence together. On the far side, Unguided Missile. On the near side, Rough Quest. Rough Quest gets away from it the quicker because Unguided Missile pecks them racing into the closing stages. And it's Rough Quest. Is he going to redeem that defeat in Newbury? Because it's going to be close. And there's Unguided Missile gets up on the line. It's a photo. But Unguided Missile looks as though he's fought his way back on the line as Rough Quest veered off a true line. And Holy Alliance has finished third, and these are the only finishers. Riverside Boy was pulled up, the others were fallers. The judges called for a photo at the end of the 1995 Better Wear Cup, and it's a photo between Unguided Missile, number six, written by Richard Dunwoody, and num Rough Quest, number four, written by Mick Fitzgerald. It looks as though uh, Richard Dunwoody, the former champion, has written his 40th winner of the season and has fought his way back on the line when Rough Quest, sadly for him, just veered off a true line when he appeared to have the race at his mercy. It's close. Let's review the closing stages. Yes, and it's... Uh very close because they're racing so far apart on the uh, nearest to camera here is rough quest but it does looking as uh, they get on the line there that's richard and woody who's ridden another magnificent race to force unguided missile back up on the line he's made two mistakes that most jockeys would have been unseated from but uh, richard has kept the partnership intact and that's the difference between uh, winning and losing another big uh, race winner for the second week running for gordon richard we saw one man putting up a magnificent jumping performance last weekend at Haydock and here a less flamboyant jumping performance but a, nevertheless a magnificent riding